Howdy folks, Jamie Farmer, Pioneer Field Agronomist for West Central Missouri. Today I want to talk to you about slug feeding. So what we've got going on here is we're in a no-till field, obviously got quite a bit of residue from this corn crop from last season. We've had quite a bit of rain here recently, about eight inches in the last uh, couple weeks here. And so we've got wet soil conditions, plenty of residue, cooler soil temps, a perfect environment for slugs. And so what you can see is the slugs have been doing some significant feeding on these soybean plants. They get up there and feed on that grain tissue, cotyledons, they can chew on parts of the stem, and especially uh, areas of the leaf between the veins. So if you have slug feeding take place early in that soybeans uh, life cycle where it's first starting to establish that stand, you can actually get uh, significant stand loss from slugs. Uh, they'll feed enough to actually get the growing points. And I've seen scenarios where we've had to replant oftentimes uh, more than once for a significant slug injury. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of great management scenarios for that. Residue management in, in future years is, is a key one, um, but when you're in season and you're dealing with slug feeding, um, like we would be here in this particular situation, uh, there's not a lot of great options out there. There's products like Sluggo, some of those molluscides that are, have activity on slugs, but insecticides don't, BT traits, things like that do not. So. We tend to have to rely on mother nature. Uh, I do know of a few folks that have tried things like potash uh, for a salt type deal or um, spraying some 28% liquid UAN. Uh, those tend to have mixed results. Uh, the best case scenario for us is getting favorable weather conditions that are not ideal for slugs. So hot, dry weather uh, to come in after these periods of wet conditions. Fortunately for this grower, the soybean plants are actually outpacing the slugs, so they got established and got going before the slugs really moved in and started feeding here. Uh, and I would expect that as we get into some warmer and drier weather here later in the week, uh, we should be okay. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.